as chairman of the Allegheny County Covington Board of Social Services uh, Board of Directors, I want to take this opportunity to uh, welcome to the community, I guess back to the community. Um, she started out here, she was a Highlands native, went to the old Clifton High School, came back later as a teacher at Allegheny before getting into DSS. She started with us on February 16th, and I think it's important that I, not only you see her, she sees you. Um, this is a joint operation between us and Allegheny County. Um, she was at the Board of Supervisors last week, correct? Yes. And um, so I'm going to let you uh, fill them in a little bit. Are you all? Thanks for having me. Just got a couple things. Um, I am very new. As you said, I've been here about two weeks. Um, I do not have budget information, dollar, dollar amounts for you, um, but I did want to let you know we're going to be asking for a couple of positions. Um, we're looking at getting an assistant director and a foster care worker. Through January and February, we took in about uh, 20 additional foster children. Um, the numbers are just exploding. We're expanding, and so there's a huge need for that. Um, We'd like to invite you all to come do a tour of the building. There are some significant issues. You may or may not be aware. It's a fairly older building. Um, you know, there are plumbing issues. There's electrical issues. There's flooding issues. We have about four offices that people are in that flood fairly consistently. Um, we have snakes in the building. Um, so that's a big problem. Um, and so we, we need to figure out are we going to repair it? Are we going to go somewhere else? What are we going to do? Because those certainly aren't conditions that people should have to work in. Um, so we'd like to take you all, have you all come on a tour so you can see the things that we're talking about. Um, we've got a lot of ideas um, about things that we'd like to do, some new things. Um, we want to be a partner in community. DSS is not always seen that way, but we are your neighbor and we want to project that we're here to help people. And that's what we want to do. And so we'd like to kind of change that culture in the community and within our agency. We are one group of people and we're here to help people. And that's what we want to do. Um, we're also doing a, um, on April the 1st, is for uh, the whole month is um, Child Abuse Prevention Month. And so for uh, the first is National Wear Blue Day. We'd like to invite you all to wear blue with us. The government employees, I've already contacted the schools, so that we're one unified group of people, um, you know, bringing recognition to child abuse because it is such a big issue. Yeah, one of the positions is for a snake charm. Yeah. Um, I think we had one on staff and she wants to relinquish the... Right. To fill you in, we, with our counterparts in the county, we have talked about what we can do. Legally, that is a county building. We share responsibility for it. Um, we don't know at this point, it's still fairly early. I agree with her. If you get a chance, you really need to go through. If you haven't, um, and see what I took. We took the board what last week. Mm -hmm. We've got some new members of the board, so we took the entire board through the building, and I think it was an eye opener for them. Yes. One of the biggest things that she has done on the city and county websites where we didn't before is actually have we now got contact information for social services, her name and number, supervisors. There's a list of uh, board members. Mm -hmm. That way people can actually know who they can reach out to. Yes. We have a significant issue with our phone system, which we've been working on for months to try to get replaced, and it's a partnership with the state, so our hands are kind of tied at this point. Um, but we want people to be able to reach workers. I know that's a, an issue that you hear about in the community a lot. We can't ever get a hold of anyone. Um, so we provided numbers for every department with direct extension to those supervisors. So if people can't get in touch with someone, um, they know exactly who they can reach out to because we, we want to be there to answer their questions and to help them as much as we can. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Thank you.